Welcome to First Word Farmers News Roundup for the 9th of June, brought to you today by editorial researcher Nina Whittle. In our top news story, AstraZeneca agreed to sell rights to its global anesthetics portfolio outside the U.S. to Aspen Pharmacare for up to $770 million. The deal is the latest under AstraZeneca's strategy of externalizing non-core assets to raise funds for investment in new drugs in its three main therapy areas. Also in the news, the pharmaceutical industry is reportedly weighing pricing medicines in Europe in relation to the clinical benefit they deliver. The move, which is set to be discussed by the Board of the European Federation of Pharmaceutical Industries and Associations, comes as healthcare systems across Europe struggle with the affordability of medicines. In other news... An FDA advisory panel voted 9-6 to in favor of approving Pfizer's abuse deterrent formulation of oxycodone and naltrexone. The committee recommended the inclusion of abuse deterrent labeling for intranasal and intravenous routes of abuse, but not for the oral route. In addition, Amgen and Novartis's experimental drug Arenumab significantly reduced the number of migraine days in a mid-stage study. Patients given erenumab experienced a 6.6-day reduction in monthly migraine days versus a 4.2-day reduction for placebo. And finally, a study suggests that the majority of antidepressants are ineffective in children and teenagers with major depression. The analysis found that only fluoxetine was more effective than placebo in relieving symptoms of depression. To read these and other stories in full, please visit firstwordpharma.com. Are you able to keep up with all the news and views in the biosimilars market? First Word's Biosimilar Index is the only dedicated biosimilar and non-comparable biologics intelligence tool available. Get ahead of your competition and learn more today. 